Emmanuel Navarrete versus Robinson Castencia. Gonna be a good, very good fight. Um, I feel like at this point they both know what kind of fighters they are. Um, this is basically a puncher versus a boxer. Uh, the styles will clash. It'll be an excellent fight. Um, it should be almost the same as with um. I'll say those 135 fights. Kind of like uh, Lomachenko, Jermaine Ortiz, uh, even with Castaciao and other fights he's had that have been close. It's going to be similar to it. Um, he's a competitor. Uh, he's in every fight. I wouldn't count him out in this fight. I would still consider it a 50-50 fight. Even though Navarrete is coming off of big wins and Outdoing his opponents, I still feel like Stacy out was a um is a big time fighter, especially um with the caliber of fighters he's fought and the competition and just the level of skills he has. He's only lost on decision twice. Um, he's a guy who's expected to go twelve in most of his fights. He's never been stopped before. This would be a tall task for someone like Navarrete, even though he's coming off a victory over Oscar Valdez. He still has to show improvement, um, master his craft, and basically um, show that he's someone who takes every fight serious and he's going to um, dominate his opponent. Well, I feel like it'll be a domination. Uh, it could be if Kistacea doesn't feel like he's at a point where he's going to um, exchange a lot because... That's what Navarrete is expecting. He's expecting a lot of exchanges, different things that's going to get you out of your um, character. He likes to jump in and throw those hooks a lot of times. Things uh, I've seen similar to what Tank Davis does. They almost have that leap in hook. It's very effective, uh, especially if you're someone who's a rhythm fighter. A lot of these guys fight off rhythm and... Um, that punch with Navarrete and Tank Davis, it makes sure that the opponents um have no chance of actually having any kind of defensive mode mechanism against them. I feel like Castacio is a very, very good um, defensive fighter. But a lot of times he gets lax as far as in the fight. Um, I'm pulling hairs because he only has two losses and they're close, but I'm just breaking out the details. He does get lax pretty much. Uh, if he's in a position where he's comfortable, uh, he'll let his opponent kind of uh, get into his, I would say, um, his area of defense, basically. And I don't think that um, he'll have any kind of, I don't know, I don't think he can return any fire against uh Navarrete when he's in the mode where he just wants to brawl and go all in because once he starts to throw the punches and he gets a rhythm and he gets aggressive, I haven't seen many fighters uh, try to match his level of intensity. That's one of the things I would say gives him a plus. He's, he's very energetic and aggressive. He's about his business inside the ring. He doesn't, he's not, he's patient. But it's a good way of being patient. He's someone who's going to let you know he's there in the ring. He's not going to uh, dance around the ring. He's going to make sure he can cut it off and let you know by the fourth or fifth round that I'm here. And you'll know. And it'll be the same fight all the way through. Will an age play a part on uh, Castacio's, uh part? Um, I wouldn't say no because from what I've seen, he's uh someone who stays in shape year round. He's not a lazy fighter. He's he's not someone who's uh not in tip top shape. His skills are on point. So I, every time he fights, it's a good fight. So some of these guys, you know, they're not gonna be pay per view stars or things like that, but they're a very good fight. Uh, he's an Olympian. He's done a lot of things over the uh, past decade. So I, I feel like those things right there will play a huge part, but Navarrete is just on a tear right now where he has a lot of business he's trying to take care of. Um, 
I don't know if that will be a Shakur and Navarrete fight in the future. Um, maybe top rank will consider making that fight happen. So guys don't um find themselves in a situation where they can't really find many fights because right now there's not many opponents that want to risk uh getting in the ring with Shakur or uh Navarrete. The only guys you really can put in there with them are top guys. And they only had Navarrete. I don't think he's had a fight at 135 yet. I think Shakur's only had one fight at 35. Um, I don't think that's enough for, uh, for guys to get adjusted. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure they've been fighting guys every than 135. But, I mean, if you want to be sure about things, you can be sure about them. But there's guys who's just been at 130, so... I could see that fight kind of happening in the future if he gets past uh, Castacio. It's not a guarantee. It's definitely not a guarantee. Uh, but I feel that um, Navarrete will have what he takes. Uh, he's a very hard puncher. He's going to try to punish him. Um, and he's going to try to <laughs> do a lot more work on him than he uh, than previous uh, fighters have. And I'm just going to say this. If this is a, a opponent that uh, either Lomachenko or Shakur, someone else has faced in the past, and he keeps destroying everybody else's opponents after he's faced them, after they face him. It's, I mean, it's just gonna tell a lot, man, because Navarrete already did a lot during the uh, Oscar Valdez fight. Even though Oscar Valdez fought hard and he stayed in the fight, and he didn't give up and take knees like other guys, which I can respect. Uh. But I think Navarrete is just an issue, man. Once he gets in there, throws those uppercuts, throws those hooks, um, he puts his whole lower body into it. So those punches right there can really put a man down. And then if he's aiming for the face, it's going to be even worse. But I feel like his Stacey is not going to uh, let a guy just punish him for rounds. I would say a decision. Maybe a knockdown in the fight. If I say a knockdown, it'll probably be 10th round. If there is a knockdown. But I would say um, Castacio would definitely be busy. He likes fighters like this. You know what I'm saying? He likes guys who uh he can try to counter and do different things off of. Navarrete is the same way. So it's not going to be a lot of waiting going on for him, though. If he has to be the one who throws the front first punch, he will. Um, but it should be an excellent fight, though. That's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.